this is going to be a two decks. The upper deck is mainly going to be meant for birds to land, but we can also park creatures up there if we... Hello everyone, Trigon here, and welcome back to Growler's Island. So, things have gone pretty well. I haven't done a ton since uh, you guys were last here. But I did bu build this little, uh, I don't know what you call it, sea pen, marina, whatever. Mainly for Wade here. Yeah, I, I hopped off this guy not long after we recorded our episode. I hopped off. And saw the pattern on his side and went, oh, he looks like Deadpool. <laughs> and so he's now Wade. So we now have this giant shark thing in the shallows called Wade. <laughs> Which seems... Alright, maybe it's just me who thinks that's funny. And we're continuing to pump his speed because they are so slow. Oh my goodness. It did pick up more oil while we were out leveling him up, though. So yeah, I built this little m marina here to keep him safe after what happened to Ariel. And this goes all the way down. I built this just like I did the walls of our uh, of our house. Oh, can I get up? Oh, yeah, I can. You can't do it if you go straight, but if you do it in an angle. Uh, see, I put them fairly close to the water. And we've got uh, one of the short behemoth gates from the gate mod. And actually walk right across the top of that to get to the other side here. But that'll also... You know, not only is that come just above the water surface, so no f swimming creatures are getting through there, but we'd also be able to uh, come through there with rafts if we want to, so. But today, the long-awaited thing that I have actually been putting off, partially because I really didn't know what I wanted to do, is a raft build. And that's what we're going to be doing today. This is the raft we built early on. You may remember I had a ramp and a... Oops, fell in the water. You may remember I had a ramp and a foundation on here. I took them off um, so that we could start fresh. And so, and in case anyone you know, hasn't seen my previous things, they can see the whole shebang from beginning to end. So I built us a little S-plus crafting station down here. I've gathered a lot of resources. Oh, here's Leia. I don't know if you ever saw I named her Leia. Don't ask me why. She just seemed like a Leia when I looked at her, so she's Leia. Maybe it's just because I was thinking of the sad tidings of having lost uh, Harry Fisher. But anyways, that's Leia. Le oh, there's Eek. Hi, Eek! Or she's off too. <laughs> she said she's waving. Um, so alright, we're going to start here, and we're going to start with a wood foundation. See, I actually took the wood foundation off from there. Where is it? Right there. Start with a wood foundation, and then I want some fiber, some thatch. You better rearrange. I'll just take all that wood. And we're going to make, let's say, half a dozen wood pillars. I'll make ten just to be safe. Okay, so here's how you start this out. Now, I think what I'm going to do is this thing is actually going to be four foundations wide and ten long. It's going to be a big boat. Uh, I'm sort of basing this. I originally thought of doing sort of a yacht. I have a really nice yacht or had a really nice yacht on the first Matt Black server. Um, but, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, brains thinking. Uh, I had a really nice yacht on our first multiplayer server. And I was thinking of copying that. But, oh, <laughs> I just eat instead of doing what I intended to do. But uh, then I decided, you know, what I, what I really need here, it, to do anything here, it's just, it just seems like we don't really need a raft here anywhere near as much as we do on the island. The island really needs... You know, for me anyways, to me, to eek, you really need a uh, raft. Sorry, I'm trying to think and do stuff. You really need a raft to get around. 
Um, just that's just the way it is. In order to get around the island, it's just easiest to do stuff if you have a raft. Um, and so we always build rafts there, but here we don't need them very much. So I haven't really, you know, worried about it. You know, in the, in the in previous games, I built rafts and then we used them early on and then never used them again. But I do want didn't want to do a raft build. Uh, so I decided what would be smartest would be to do something that we could operate out of as a mobile base. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I've got the first foundation placed. Now, as you saw, I used this line right here on the front of the raft and the mast, which is why I put the mast back up, to center it. Now, I want to have it four wide, so I want this edge to be as centered as possible. So that looks pretty good. We're nicely lined up, so it's going to be nicely square. And then I centered it front to back, too. Uh, not necessary to do it that way, but it's more convenient to me, I think, to do it that way. Um, so this way, our, we're going to have a four wide foundation, two wide here, and then probably have three this way before we have to start getting fancy on doing things. But in order to uh, not have to have like a driver pit, which I really don't like doing. Um, now, I don't know, though, maybe having a driver pit on this one would be good. Hmm, you know, I hadn't thought of that before, but maybe I will go ahead and leave a driver pit in this. Normally, I would lower this. And I can show you, th this is how we do the lowering. So what you do is you put down your first foundation, then you place a pillar. And I've learned an abbreviated way of doing this since, and I think this only works with the original pillars. So don't try to do this with the other pillars but now you look and see that that didn't work <laughs> uh do we need to leave the foundation on there uh this that did work okay see how this one is a little bit lower than the other one maybe we need to leave that foundation there Let's see still work nope that one still places the same height okay so we do need the foundation but the s plus one we can just keep picking it up and putting it down uh, uh. you can see every time you do it it gets just a little bit lower but i don't know i'm thinking maybe leaving that driver pit in there this time So, oops, I did not mean to build another foundation. Here we go. Yeah, I'm going to replace this foundation. And we are going to go ahead and leave the pit in here this time. I haven't done, ugh, it would be real nice if I quit doing that. I haven't, I haven't done it this way in a long time, but this would be an interesting change. Now the bottom half of this boat I'm going to do in metal. I'm going to mix up materials. don't generally like doing metal too much, even though, you know, especially on PvP, that's, you know, important to use metal because of its defensive properties. Not nearly as important on PvE. I mean, even if you're worried about running into creatures that could damage metal, or damage stone, I just don't think it's all that important. But, there we go. Placed. Uh, I want to do it in metal this time, but I don't want to do the top in metal because the reflection off from it, they make this metal so shiny and there's nothing you can do with it, it blinds you when you're trying to drive the boat. So, no metal on the rest of it. So, first off, I'm going to take a little break here. I'm going to build up some metal foundations for us, and I'll bring you back once I've got them made. Okay, we're back. We've got our metal foundations now. On out here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start placing our foundations. These first few foundations will be easy enough. All we have to do is just place them normally. Let's destroy that since we don't need to keep it. Oh good, that's... Whoa! Nope, that didn't place the way I wanted it to. I thought it was going to place alongside here. 
Okay, now because we're doing this four wide, normally th you can get this three wide without having to do this, but because we're doing this four wide, we're going to have to be a little fancy here. So what you do is you use thatch ceilings, and then you can come down underneath. Usually end up having to go in the water for it. See, now you can place... Now, one of the advantages of lowering the foundation, you see here, you can see the bottom of the boat. One of the advantages of lowering the foundation is you can get the boat in its entirety inside of those foundations and therefore safer from uh, being damaged by whatever. Oh, oh, you know what? Where's that wooden ramp? We need a temporary ramp here. Come here. Okay. Alright, cool. Temporary ramp. So we'll pick up our thatch ceilings and reuse them. Same thing right here. Now you do have to be a little careful, you saw I almost boo-booed there. Because the motion of you swimming is going to translate into moving your foundations around. So you have to sort of... You have to sort of get onto the ramp. Come on! <laughs> well, there's a problem with uh, doing it that way. I said, I haven't done one without lowering it for quite a long time, so... Take away our thatch foundations. We're saving them. So now you see, we got our nice pretty start here. We'll go ahead and put our next ones in. And you just keep doing this for all of your foundations. There you go. I do actually have some swim fins and uh, snorkel I could be using. The snorkel would obscure our vision and swim fins would slow us down when we're walking, so it doesn't really seem like an advantage. So I'm going to go ahead and finish placing these down. Oh, before I do that, though, <laughs> see what we're going to do here with our... See? Now we have our little driver's compartment. Could be advantageous, I'm thinking, for this particular build, to have the driver's compartment lowered. But, because of the way the the uh, ramps come together, that makes it so it's sealed off. We're not exposed to the water like we might be otherwise. Which is one reason why I always like lowering it. So it's easy to board the raft and everything. Um, but... Um, you're not exposed to the water like you might be otherwise. So, all right, I'm going to finish getting these uh, foundations on here, and I'll bring you back when I've got them built. Okay, we're on the last row here. Had to turn the boat around, of course. Now, this little trick here with placing the, the thatch ceilings and then placing the foundations underneath only works with thatch ceilings. It does work with structures plus ones, obviously, since that's what I'm using. I think that's actually something they took out they saw as a bug and fixed it and then people complained because they were using it for their raft builds so they put it back in so uh, that's uh, the little trick you can use to extend uh, your your deck boat or your boat deck blah talk words um, out from the normal raft size so it lets you use the raft as a base to build a boat so here we go here is our Lower deck, our base deck. Now, one advantage and one reason why I, I sort of uh, like the idea of going ahead and leaving it up at this level um, is that unlike if I were to lower it, the ramp would not come down like this. The, the deck would be almost even with, with a dock if I built a dock. But this way, it's nicely above and the ramps coming up onto the boat work nicely this way. So uh, a bit of an advantage there in that way as well. It also puts your lower deck up higher off the water and makes it harder for things under you to attack you. So 
that's where we are on that. So we've got our little pilot area built. We've got our, our deck built. It's time to move on to the next stage of building, which is going to be our first set of walls. Now, this lower deck is going to be two levels high. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to have to build some stuff I've never built before. That ought to be interesting. So, okay, yeah. I'm going to have to run up to the top to do some of this, too. Okay, so let's go ahead and... How did I end up with this stuff in here? I don't remember demolishing anything. All right, well, that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. We don't need that anymore or that. That, uh, we'll leave the ramp there in case we need to move it at some point. We probably will. So let's see. First off, we're going to need some walls. We're going to have to decide where we want window walls and where we want regular walls. I think that this back half is all going to be solid walls. So, let's see. It's here. Yeah. Okay, from here to... So... Yeah. Right up to the driver's compartment. So one, two, three, four. So what? More solid walls there. And I think I can go ahead and put solid walls there, too. That'll be fine. So that's eight solid walls. And 16 solid walls. And I think those. So... All right, we'll get started with those. So, this is going to be a two decks. The upper deck is mainly going to be meant for birds to land, but we can also park creatures up there if we uh, if it's something that we can't fit down here. This is going to be two walls high. There's going to be an entrance on the front and an entrance on the back. And actually, I could go ahead and replace the, this wooden ramp with a couple of metal ones if I wanted to. But I'm not going to do that yet. Let's see here. Yeah, that's about right. I and decide how exactly I want some of this done. I think. Yeah. Okay, we got our first set of walls done here start putting them in. No, not there. <laughs> Thank you, Structures Plus. You save us. Here. Same thing. Yeah, including the same mistake, right? <laughs> what, a, what on earth? I just can't seem to get that right, can I? Okay, there. There we go. Better. Better. Okay, so. That's the beginning of that. And then what I want here... Let's see. I... Yeah, let's go ahead and... Right. Let's start with this one. That'll be easier. I'll put it right behind the driver. There. Actually, you know what, though? Let's take that one out. So I can put a door on either side to go between these two sections. That will work nicely. Yep, let's go make us two doors. Not tutors, two doors. Very different. Actually, we just need the door frames. I don't think we really need to put actual doors in there. We might, we'll see. We'll see how it works out when we get going here. Oh. 
See what I mean about that reflection? That's murderous on your eyes. Oh, I thought for sure that was not going to place what it was supposed to. Come on. Uh, like that one didn't place where it was supposed to. Why did you even place over there? <laughs> it's nowhere near where we wanted you. Actually, I think if we do it this way, it might be a little easier. Maybe? Come on. Why is this thing fighting us so much? Man, it just does not want to go where it's supposed to. There we go, finally. Okay, that goes there, that goes there. Okay, so this will be our aft section here. Now, get some ramps built. I'll see, right here. Let those build. And then I think on the front half of this, we can go ahead and have, uh, <laughs> it's gonna look so cool. We can go ahead and have windows. We'll just put them on the lower half, but we'll have windows the full length here. One, two, three, four, five, six, it's 12, 14. So I want 14 windows. <laughs> and where's our window wall? Right there. And there's our ramps. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start with our ramps. First two, pretty obvious. I think you've already figured out where I'm putting the first two. Let's go ahead and take this wooden one off so it doesn't interfere. Here. Uh, oh, come on. Right there. So there we go. So we will have a gate at the top of this. But here's the next part. This is your next thing right here. Okay. There. 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 Okay. Ugh. Darn it. I hate it when it does that. <laughs> Can we even see it to fix it? But this, even though you can't see it at the moment, this will be our ramp up to the flight deck. Let me see if I can find that misplaced ramp. Nope. Could be a nuisance to have to fix that, but I can do that. All right, I'm going to fix that and get some more stuff built, and I'll be right back. That turned out to be a good place to break, because the sun went down shortly thereafter. So, here's how far we've gotten. Got the walls up here. I left this gap here. You'll see why later. Got the walls up here. Now, let's see about getting these gates in. This one is actually from the uh, Arc Extra set. I have not used this one before, so we will see how it works. Well, that looks perfect, actually. Very nice. Very nice indeed. There will be a ramp on the front of there. So... That will be the prime means for bringing dinosaurs into the lower section. The upper section, of course, the flight deck, they'll, they can come, they, well, they'll land, but if we want to bring regular dinos up there, we'll just bring them up these ramps. Oops, uh, there we go. Um, now let's see about the rear gate. Now this is from the gate mod. This one, oh, that's right, I forgot. This one's three wide, isn't it? Yep. No? Nope. Yep. It's wanting to place on the dock. <laughs> Alright, wait a minute. I forgot this one's three wide. Let's take this down. This down. That's, okay. That makes sense. I might change my design a little bit there. Let's see what we can do about getting this thing on here without driving me insane. Oh, there we go. Well, that worked. And it failed to drive me completely insane. Which I consider a plus. I think Eek likes it if I'm not completely insane, too. <laughs> now, you see, this is a little bit higher. This, this section will be open to the air right here where we are. 
So, uh, that'll be a little different. Yeah. yeah. I might actually get rid of this door. That explains... I was trying to remember, because I did a boat like this before, and I was trying to remember why I didn't have that like that before, and I think that was wise, because that I, I'd forgotten that this gate was three wide. And, uh, in which case we may just... Maybe I'll keep this so we can access the under ramp area. <laughs> All right, so now we got this. I've been making ceilings to use for our flight deck. Where are they? Okay. In here, these are going to be stone. Will be a lot more. Um, Hey, you, you weren't supposed to go there, and now I'm stuck. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's try that again. Much better. Oh, right there. Much better, yeah. So this would be a lot easier on the eyes, but here, I mean, this is an aircraft carrier, of course, so here we're going to come out and see this is where our cabin will be. Let's see. Right about here. See? This will be our cabin. Coming out to the side here. Now, I've got this coming out further than I did last time. Makes a bigger cabin. I don't know if I want to do that or not. That might be coming out too far. I'm going to have to have a look at it. I'll probably have to go up in the air and have a look at it. Before I make any decision. Ooh. That one was jumping all over the place, wasn't it? Now, this might extend even further beyond this. I haven't decided yet. The problem with doing that is, see where the ceiling is? If I haven't done this right, you get stuck. On, or, excuse me, where the walls are. You get stuck in the walls. But it sort of looks like I did it right. And it's not going to be a problem. So, yeah, I'll probably extend that one more beyond that. Maybe two. We'll see. But, yeah, it'll be extended beyond this. To make the flight deck longer and make the boat look sleeker, too, that way. Yeah. This here will be where we'll have our stairs up from here to get up to our cabin. So, yeah, I like the way it looks. Unfortunately, we are out of time for today. So we will have to finish this up in the next video. But we've definitely made some good progress on this. We'll, uh, we'll have one heck of a boat when we're done. I can't wait to take it out and see how it, how it drives. So if you like the video, please tickle that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And we will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.